way back here and come back. I mean, I can go from here, you know, go down from here and do that. But that's going from the hip. That's not going to have a lot of force. I need to bring it back and then through to get a good amount of force on it. I've got people behind me. Uh, broken field, that's an easier shot, which is why I, a lot of times I'll be with broken field with this. It's like, you know, I could be walking up like this on broken field, then go to this. And because I might have a person behind me, most likely not on a broken field, so I've got room to play. But on a static, most likely there's groups, because there's people behind me. This is taking up too much room, getting jostled around, which is why bridges, I normally this. Um, every once in a while I'll switch to underarm, I mean, to underarm, but it's mostly, I'll choke up to about here, or to there, and keep this and put the tip out further, so this is more right next to my side. So it's not screwing with anybody, and then it's that. But this is heavy, I'm trying to do it with one hand. So it's flick up and then try to get it shot, but you have no control with it. So, yes, static, I normally stick with this. Um, broken field is where you're going to switch back and forth. Uh, so. So, now to the part of working with your friends. If you're going to fight this style, talk with the group that you normally fight with. Work with them. And this isn't like showing up, you know, and no, I've shown up to plenty of battles with this, and go, okay, let me know how you guys want to do this. You guys want to stick me on the side? You want to stick me in the middle? Just realize that you're, work that you're going to be working around with this. Because um, I don't know how many times I'm working with, I've got a, you know, someone, a spearman here, basically using my shield as cover so they can pop out and fire. But when they fire, they always end up clipping this and knocking it, which is fine. I mean, I don't think I've gotten killed from it. It's just you're constantly having this batted out of the way. Where if you had a 24 inch shield, you know, a scudum or whatever, would not be running to that problem. Uh, but also if I've seen some spears throw their shots out, I take a shot at the same time and their shot and their gauntlet ends up getting stopped there because they're basically using my shield as a firing platform and then they end up getting clipped by, by that and stopping their shot. So the smarter ones figure out how to work with it, try to work with them ahead of time to let them, you know, play off you. I've seen, I've had people, you know, you're sitting up, you know, you're on a bridge, sitting up like this, and all of a sudden I feel back on my back. And it's basically a spearman here putting their back against mine and using that edge of my shield as cover. <laughs> um, I've had it happen a few times. I don't get it so much the front because my arm's there. So my arm's taking up that space. But on my back, yeah. and I've been known to, I feel that I feel that on my back. I'm going to shield over. I'll give him a little bit more cover. Or I'll yell over, do you, that good? All right, or I'll move it back. Uh, or just talk with them. Get them, get them to notice it, get them to like it. Um, I find my spears, if I'm standing back in the line, I'm more in the way, which is the other reason why I go out in the dead man's land a lot. <laughs> because now I can, if I step out here, while they're all back here, now they're getting more of their angles that they're used to being able to get as far as these shots, you know, as far as this arc. They're, used, they're more used to getting to. Or, I'm here, now they can actually hide way behind me, and then step out, take a shot, get back behind me. Or, while they're getting back out, I see the shot coming, cover. Cover. So, 
So that's why I like playing out in Dead Man's Land. Plus, I love taunting. <laughs> um, it's I call it taunting. Well, it's taunting. Taunt. It's taunting. But going from like coming from MMO gaming, all that kind of good stuff of the tank of taunting the monsters. So you know, I'll step up here, and especially and if I know you and you're across from me, I'll probably be taunting you. <laughs> I'll probably be saying stuff over to you. And I've had plenty of guys, you know, start it off saying stuff back to me. Uh, and then I'll return. But no, I'm trying to get them to focus on me. Because now, all of a sudden, I'm a danger. I'm a danger with a shield. <laughs> and I'm getting, and I'm trying to get them to realize that. So, they're trying to kill me. And by them focusing on me, especially if I'm up here and I'm working. And I don't normally step up unless I'm planning on throwing some shots. But while I'm doing this, boom, boom, I'm hoping my spears are playing off that and targeting. And we're going, okay, oh, that guy over there is focused on Finn. Boom, boom. And while they're taking that shot because they're having to take that weird angle to try to get to me, my spear from there is firing across and nailing him. That's what I'm hoping. And that's the other reason why I talk to my spears. I'll let them know, look, I will be stepping out in the dead man zone. They will most likely focus on me, especially the guys from over here. They will start looking at me and they will start firing at me. Watch them. When they try to take that weird angle to try to get around, to try to get around that, sh that my shield edge into my body, nail them. Because they're going to have to reach out and try to get around it. Unless they're way over there and they're way over there. They probably don't have the, the reach to get to me. Uh, they, they can if they take that step, but they're having to take a step in a dead man zone, which my spear over there should be making him pay. So, um, let's see. Okay, so that's pretty much that part. Uh, now, a little bit into my ideas for the tourney. So, so I haven't decided if I'm going to go with this, or if I'm actually going to do two cutouts and make a Boeitian, because I've got like five of these, um, and five of these that people aren't, I've offered to like make a unit, no one's been interested, so I guess I've got five, I guess maybe it's four, I've got four extras of these because this is my fifth, um, so I've got four extras, I might take one, and no, do some cutouts, make a Boeitian out of, out of one, and fight this tourney style. Go with a six foot, um, so I can pad the end. Because honestly, if I'm going to do this style, I'm not doing this to be <laughs> to win tourneys. I'm not doing this to, oh, I'm a super stud. No, I'm doing this because it's fun. And if I'm going to do it for fun, I'm also going to do it where it looks good. And an unpadded or tan pole arm doesn't look right to me. Um, do it all you want. I'd be happy. Uh, like I'll like if my seven and a half, my seven and a half for tan one is unpadded. Um, but for attorney, no, attorney, I want to have a little bit of a have a little bit of a head on it. Oops. So it's going to have a little bit of a head, so it looks right. It'll have a butt spike. So, but not, but it's going more on the. Dark Age, uh, Archaic Age, so 1100 to 700. So all of the Dark Age, beginning of Archaic, maybe actually going off a little bit of Bronze, because they always, they always kind of guess me, you know, Troy happened, the Battle of Troy happened, you know, maybe around 1200 BC, which that's more of the of Bronze. And then it goes into Dark Ages after that because you lose a lot of info from that point until the archaic uh, for different reasons I've read I know there was a big volcano um, it's not Santorini I don't think but it's there's a big volcano in the Aegean that blew up at that same point that same time which they think that might have been one of the reasons why we've lost a lot of info 
between there just because gigantic volcano blows up, ash everywhere, crops die, people move, come back, or aren't dealing as well with it is why we lose a little bit of info. But we really don't have a lot of info about that either other than stories being told down through the ages which is where you get to the Iliad, Homer, and all that kind of good stuff. But their fighting would be more heroic which I put to more tourney style. So you know you're talking about you know six foot, six foot pole. What is why I'm looking at the Boeotian is with an aspis this is in the way. Boeotian I've got that cut out where my hand is inside it, so it's more here, so it's more there, in front of the person, instead of, with the aspis, my arm having to be out here. So that's one reason why I'm gonna look at doing the cutout, is so my hand can be more in front of my opponent. But you know, so you're dealing with this, so you know, boom, boom, you know, keeping my opponent in front of me, uh, they come in, Things like that. Um, I'll see if I want to try to switch the sword with it. Because, yeah, they would have. They wouldn't have been trying to you know, fight a, an opponent, opponent close in the whole time. Uh, but, you know, one of the things, you know, get boom in there. Boom. Oh, he's coming in. Flip it up here. Boom. You know, short little thrust to the face. Boom. Retreat, back, boom. There. Um, it'll be an, an interesting test. Um, I think I'll have a lot of fun with it. I have no idea how successful this will be. I am probably guessing not. Um, but who knows? Now, if I can get my biggest problem with going from this to a sword, and it's also the reason why I don't do it in melees, is tourney is not as bad because, no, if I drop this, I still got the sword, I can still fight all that kind of good stuff, and I, but I know where this is. Boom, it's off to the side. Tourney's done, you know, fight's done, I go pick it up, I go back. A melee, honestly, the best reason... <laughs> The biggest reason why I don't switch, where I have a sword in my hand, you know, boom. Oh, here comes, you know, someone's coming on top of me. Okay, drop this, pick up the sword, fight, 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 fight. Is if the unit's gonna keep on moving, or we're moving or whatever, that's getting left behind. The chances of me finding that again, probably not too high. It's probably gonna walk. It might show back up. Maybe I have not enough faith in my fellow man. Because plenty of weapons show back up in Lost and Found. Or in a pile somewhere. So, so maybe I should have more faith in my fellow man. But that's the biggest reason why I don't switch back and forth. Especially in melees. I might have to try it for, uh, for turning. And just see how it goes. But... We'll see. Because, I mean, if I'm here, now you know, I've got the cutout. Boom. 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 Which, God, if you get hit, if you get hit by this when you're sitting in front of me, did you see someone over the, did you see someone over there that you're like, oh, who's that while we're fighting? Because this takes so much time. <laughs> the generates where at least with you know this boom that I mean that still takes time though so I'm basically having to rely on blinding you with this shot stepping that block then. so I mean I've got shots off it <laughs> we'll see I, I have no idea how well this is going to do well, that's the class, folks. Um, thank you very much for paying attention. It rambled here and there. I'm sorry. I had it. I had it all listed here. But then I was finding that I was going like you know 
I built the class for overarm, underarm, uh, open filled, static, uh, broken filled. And once I started actually teaching, you know, talking to you, realizing that no, I should have said, okay, underarm, overarm, this, underarm, overarm, this, underarm, overarm, this, instead of breaking up into two separate entities, it would have, it would have flown better. But this should be, I think this class is probably better than my other class I did a couple of years ago. So thank you very much. Hope to see you on the field. Be safe.